Attention everybody, are you an aspiring content creator? You want to get on YouTube and share yourself with the world and don't quite know how or where to start? I have a solution for you. So I would like to introduce you to De Silva Silva, a fabulous content creator who has helped many others to become content creators and she's ready to help you as well. In fact, she has an ebook out to help guide you and teach you everything you need to know about becoming a content creator. And I think you'll find it very beneficial and I would like to encourage you to reach out to De Silva so that she can help to get you started on your journey to becoming the content creator that you've been wanting to become. So please go ahead and reach out to her to learn more. You can contact Ms. De Silva via email at DeSilvaTalkShow at gmail.com. Her email address can be found in the description of her channel and I will leave the link to her channel right underneath this video. There is money to be made in these YouTube streets y'all. Okay, so let's go. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I'm here to talk about the upcoming season of Love and Marriage Huntsville, okay? But before I get into it, let me just say that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. Now, as a lot of you already know, season eight or whatever it's being called because y'all know that winter harris of love and marriage gc exposed carlos ass saying how she feels like carlos pretty much have a weird way of numbering the seasons of the shows meaning she feels that carlos labels them as seasons a and b or whatever else because as long as he can say that the episodes are a part of one season he don't have to renegotiate the cast contracts okay and from the interview that went to deal with Queen Sheba, we have a pretty good idea how Carlos feels about renegotiating contracts. In my opinion, Carlos don't like to pay folks. Carlos don't give a fuck about nobody but himself, despite that big ass, stupid ass grin he be having on his face and all them fake ass I love yous and all that other bullshit, okay? If Carlos don't do nothing else, he is going to show you how he truly feels about you if you pay attention, okay? Fuck his words. Pay attention to his actions. As I didn't hear somebody else say, I don't know if it was someone from Nell's team or not. I believe that it was either Don or Lauren. Okay. But one of them said Carlos slip was showing. He didn't definitely show the slip y'all so much so that winter then came forth and exposed his ass. And he didn't want to talk about that y'all because Dr. Heavenly brought some of that shit up that winter was talking about like the low pay that um, Carlos gave his cast. He didn't want to talk about that, y'all. Of course he didn't. But anyway, Winter came forth and exposed his ass, as she should have, because of things that Carlos has allowed to take place under the Kingdom Reign umbrella should be exposed to the people so that folks can see who and what he truly is and how he truly feels about black women. If you pay attention to the shows that Carlos produce on the own network, in my opinion, they are all centered around black women being abused. I'm convinced that his mama was abused. And so he feels like that shit is normal and that black women should be okay with the nerd abuse. So much so that he's going to showcase the abuse, okay, against black women as entertainment. Presented as entertainment. That's my opinion. So, season eight is approaching, y'all. Carlos gave a March 4th premiere date. Promo pictures have been dropped. And we've already discussed the drama surrounding that. Drama orchestrated by none other than the very jealous and envious Stormy Steele and her ridiculous ass mama Betty Steele. These two clowns are so jealous of male that it's seeping through their pores, y'all. Stormy got mad because production changed the color of her dress because she came to the photo shoot intentionally in the wrong color in a desperate attempt to compete with Mel. She wanted to wear what Mel was wearing and got mad when they changed the color of her dress on that promo picture. And her and her mama got online blaming Mel for what had happened, okay? Stormy wants to outshine Mel and it would never happen because Stormy just ain't that girl. And never will be to nobody but her hood rat ass community. The ones who buy that alleged white label ass wax she's selling over there on TikTok. In the real world, Stormy will never be that girl. She will never be Melody Cherie. And that's why she's mad. Just like one of my subscribers said, Mel done did everything that Stormy has wanted to do. Only Mel has been successful at it. Even with TV. Stormy attempted to get on TV before and it didn't work out for her. Mel has succeeded in TV, 
e-commerce, music, real estate, and paying her fucking bills and so on. And instead of Betty encouraging her goofy ass daughter to just do better and perhaps take notes from Mel, she encourages her daughter to be the evil spirited, jealous, envious, ignorant, ghetto trash that she is. And it's quite embarrassing, but they don't have enough sense to be embarrassed. Okay, so this was just for those of you who didn't know about the drama surrounding the promo picture that recently dropped for the new season of Love and Mary Tonsfield. Stormy wanted her dress to be metallic or whatever they're calling it, okay, like Mills was. And she wore the wrong color, and so production changed it to fit within the color code. And Stormy and her mama blamed Mill and pretty much insinuated that Mill told production to change the color of her dress in that picture and y'all stormy and her mama have no proof of that but guess what even if mel did make that request so fucking be it loving mary chancefield is her shit she brought that shit to the table bitch she let you pull up a seat to her shit you don't call no fucking shots you can't do what the fuck it is she do get your own show oh you can't you tried but failed okay then shut the fuck up then if she did request to have the color of your ugly ass dress change so be it and i'm not saying that she did but if she did so be it who besides you and betty who think you're in a competition with male gonna be mad when the reality of the matter is that you're in a one-sided ass competition because male ain't thinking about your busted ass stormy because she knows that you can't compete where you don't compare Okay, in fact, she probably be over there laughing at your sorry ass as she packs orders that's going to actually make it to her customers. So when it comes to the upcoming season, not only did they drop the promo picture, but the mini trailer as well. And from the look of it, this season ain't going to be no different from the other seasons other than them coming harder at Mel this season. Okay, in the trailer, we saw my soul sitting down talking to Mel as his top raw teeth disappeared, okay? We saw him tell her, we heard him tell her that Martel is the dude that she chose, the dude that she decided to have three kids with. Now, we all know Mel got four kids. I don't know if Marceau was saying that shit because he just ain't been keeping up with the amount of kids Mel and Martel got. Due to him not even giving a fuck about his own kids, he probably don't even know how many kids his ass got. Either way, we all know that Martel's stupid ass has publicly insinuated that Sugar Mama was not his. May not be his. See, everything ain't funny. Marceau likes to be funny. And he probably did that shit because he knows about the false narrative that Martel tried to push about Mel being a hoe. And Sugar Mama possibly belonging to somebody else. But Marceau didn't even say it himself that Martel lies every time he opens his mouth. So to insinuate something that he know deep down ain't the truth. It's just as disgusting as the motherfucker who started it. In my opinion, the assholes on the show are going to get everything that's coming to them. Okay? They're going to get what's coming to them. It's all fun and games until they all standing in the line for a bed at the shelter or for a meal down at the soup kitchen. These motherfuckers, they continue to bite the hand that feeds them. Okay? Once Mel leave the show, I don't know what they think they're going to do. I mean, do they think the Fletcher's going to help them out financially or something? If so, I got news for them. Because apparently, the Fletcher's ain't even helping out their own child. Being that he was recently arrested for stealing a credit card and buying, you know, himself some fucking tires with that credit card. Stormy got her lawsuits to pay on. Martel ain't got shit. Destiny ain't got shit. Neither one of these motherfuckers can rely on the next one. They all have relied on mail, though. And they all been getting checks because of her. Yet they all continue to come at her in ways that they shouldn't. But what can you expect when, you know, the producer of the show is allegedly here for all of the shenanigans? In that very same clip, y'all, we saw Martel sitting his ugly ass in that confessional with his little ass leg crossed over the other one. Talking about us nice guys always get the short end of the stick. Now, keep in mind, he was born with the short end of the stick, allegedly, which is why his tongue stay busy. And for that reason alone, he's literally full of shit. He's a booked and busy salad tosser, and that job comes with a salary of zero dollars, which is why Mel had to drop them kids off food while they was at his house because he couldn't feed them. But he want to blame the bloggers for him not being able to feed his kids when it is him choosing to partake in unbeneficial ass activities instead of getting out there, working a regular nine to five, like the regular ass clown that he is. 
He knows that he's not a good guy. The world knows that he's not a good guy. Most importantly, Carlos knows that he's not a good guy. Okay? Yet he still allows Martel to stay on his payroll. Carlos chooses, okay, to use Kingdom Reign to employ criminals and harbor abusive ass men. In my opinion, that's what he employs. He gets off on seeing black men abuse black women. As y'all all know, he sold us that show as black excellence. A show centered around power couples and whatnot. But damn near everybody on that show got a mugshot and no successful business. Marriages are terrible, okay? But let's talk about one person in particular, which is Martel, okay? So it's been posted what episode one of season eight is supposed to be about, which is the fallout of Martel's arrest and Mel having to beef up security around her house because she does she does not know, okay? What her ex will try to do to her. Maybe even the kids, especially if he has an underlying mental disorder, which we all feel he does, okay? Which is why he was allegedly ordered to take a psych evaluation. An evaluation that I heard he had to have done within two weeks from with within two weeks of him and Mel's last court date, or he was going to be under a mandatory 72 hour hold. That's what I was told. So episode one is supposed to be about his arrest for the revenge P charge against Mel, okay? Because he threatened to release Revenge P against his ex-wife when she refused to shut up and let him lie on her on social media. And then he recruited his trifling ass, whole ass baby mama to help him. So Carlos knows that Martel is currently fighting criminal charges. He knows that he appears to be unstable. He knows that he is a threat to others. But instead of giving him his walking papers like a regular, comp a regular company would do, he has allowed Martel to stay on the show. And use his crimes as a storyline. Okay? Okay? As Mel said, Carlos is funding this clown. He knows that Martel has nothing else going on in life other than his situation with his baby mama Coleslaw and the crimes that he has committed against his ex-wife Mel. And allegedly his kids. And since Ariane ain't coming on the show, he has allowed Martel to use his crimes as a storyline so it can bring in viewers for him. And he knows that Mel is not feeling that shit. And let's get into it because I'm going somewhere with this, okay? And let me just tell you where I'm going. Y'all are aware of the interview that Queen Sheba did with Winter from Carlos' other show, Love and Marriage DC, where she exposed Carlos' toxic work environment and low wages. Winter spoke about how she was treated after Carlos King pretty much thanked her for her services. It is my belief that Carlos has plans to do the exact same thing to Mel this season. He is planning on Winter Harrison, Melody Cherie, and let me tell you why I feel that way. First off, I believe that Mel has given Carlos the same notice that Winter then gave his ass, okay? Pretty much letting him know that she will not be returning. I could be wrong, of course, but this is how I feel. Carlos is not as crazy about Mel as he tries to make it seem, okay? Especially if she has given him notice that she won't be returning for the next season. I don't know if she has, but I think she has, okay? Because he knows that ain't nobody about to watch that shit if Mel leave. Because don't nobody like the rest of the motherfuckers he got on the show. So much so that people have actually petitioned to have them removed, including myself. So there is no doubt in my mind that Carlos would be upset about the real star of the show leaving. Now, just to refresh our memory, Winter Harris gave us her account of how she was treated after giving notice to production that she would not be returning especially at the reunion where another male producer was allegedly directing the black cast members to verbally attack her so all of those names that those black men were allowed to call winter on the reunion stage is how carlos truly felt about winter especially since you know she was leaving see Carlos want people to be okay with the kingdom rain treatment, the abuse and the rusty ass 50 cent pieces that he calls a salary. 
He don't want black women to realize their worth because that would mean less money for him. And just for the record, okay, I truly feel that Carlos is not a good person. I truly feel he does not like black women and employ black men to attack and abuse them on camera for the world to see. I've even heard a story about how Elise Neal, an actress, was injured a couple of times on Hollywood Divas reality TV show, a show that Carlos produced along with another production company, okay, called Think Factory. I heard that one of Elise Neal's injuries was a head injury where a light fixture or something had fell onto her motherfucking head and the producers of the show. I heard neither one of them offered to take care of her hospital costs for the injuries. I feel like Carlos ain't even trying to pay his staff for working. So he damn sure don't want to pay for no fucking injury. That ain't his own. Then we can't forget about how Candy said that he tried to steal her life story. And I guess shop it around to get money for himself. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we hear Winter Harris' experience. And now his true feelings about male has been revealed. <coughs> Excuse me. As far as I'm concerned, you know what I'm saying? It's been revealed. He just give ain't shit vibes all across the board. And when he talk, he don't seem to be that intelligent. Okay? Black men abusing black women may be the only education he has. So let's look into what I believe his plan is for this season for Love and Mayor Chunsville, which is to win to Harris Mail. Okay. So it started with Carlos telling Mail that she had to show up for work a couple of months ago. And his definition of work was an event that De La Ghetto Steel had thrown and invited Martel to. Carlos knew that Martel was going to be there. Carlos also knew that Martel had been arrested on their revenge P charge. Martel also, Car no, Carlos also knew that Mel had to beef up security after her whack job as ex-husband, okay? Her whack job ex-husband was released from jail because no telling what was going through his mind. For all we know, while he was in that cell, for them three hours that he was in there before he was released, he could have been writing Mel's obituary with plans to hand it over the van, okay? For her service. Because I ain't got to wait on no psych results to tell me that Martel is crazy. I determined that shit years ago, and so did Mel, which is why she left his ass. He could have been planning to hurt Mel. I would say or planning to get somebody else to do it, but his ass ain't got no money to pay nobody to do shit. Ain't nobody about to accept Skittles as a form of payment to risk their freedom. Unless it's Ariane. And just to think that's the bitch that he got her kids around. But Carlos didn't once think, in my opinion, that maybe he shouldn't try to have Mel and Martel film together. Because if he did and was serious about it, he wouldn't have done it. Carlos don't think about nobody but himself, which is why he's starting to fall right before our eyes, okay? So Carlos tried to set Mel up to get her to film with Martel. Then he decided to bring Destiny back onto the show, knowing her ass don't got shit to talk about. Yeah, Sonny married the nigga she was fucking, but what is the plan? To have her drag that shit out all season like Kimmy did that fucking libido situation? We still don't know what Destiny do for a living. You know what I'm saying? And before I even get into that, I know damn well she ain't going to drag that whole Moses thing all season because she barely talked about him when she was on the show before. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we still don't know what Destiny do for a living other than get brought back up in court by her ex-husband. And if she talk about that shit, he going to have her ass back up in there again. Destiny Moon Pie Face ass probably do a little bit of everything. And probably all of it is illegal, in my opinion. Because when your best friend is Martell Hope, everything you do is going to be questioned, okay? I heard that she was delivering lottery tickets. I ain't going to knock it, though, because 
you got to do what you got to do to make ends meet. But what I'm saying is, I heard you say in one of your interviews, Destiny, that you were tired of surviving and was ready to thrive. So why not wait until you actually start thriving and then bring your ass back, okay? Instead of just coming back because you have been directed to beef with male, okay? Why not wait until you start thriving to bring your ass back instead of coming back to team up with males, big face, potato head ass op, but you her op too, so I get it. So not only does Carlos allow Destiny to come back this season, but I believe that he is behind Destiny and Stormy linking up with plans to bring their bad bitch big D energy. Let Stormy tell it, okay? First of all, neither one of them is a bad bitch. Okay, they do bad business, but they ain't a bad bitch. And that big D energy that Stormy spoke about, that ain't nothing but haterade. Because these two bitches stay hating on male. The real bad bitch. Okay, the real bad bitch is over there raising four kids while running like 66 businesses. Okay, with no lawsuits, no liens, no repos, no expired real estate licenses, no Alibaba shit, looking good, paying her bills, money in the bank. Okay, while both of these apple head ass bitches are struggling, Stormy Big Face ass, she's so fucking childish. She was literally on Instagram high fiving Destiny and trying to get attention. You can tell she never had none coming up. Weird ass, ignorant ass, ghetto ass bitch. These hoes really got plans to get on the show and act up, especially Stormy, because Stormy want to be the star of the show. Okay, and she's struggling with the fact that that will never be her reality. In order for you to be a star, you have to have star quality. And bitch, you already know what you're hitting for. Absolutely nothing. If Ariane was on the show, she would have been in the comment section too, y'all. Because we didn't already heard her say that a bad bitch was going to get on there and take over. As in herself. A young and bad bitch. Or whatever the fuck she said on original Straight No Chases audio. Meanwhile, that bitch ain't got no money, no career, no husband, no common sense, nobody to take them fucking braces off her teeth. But she thought that she was going to get on male show and take over. These bitches are just so out of touch with reality. You can't tell me that Carlos ain't behind this shit, y'all. I believe he's just like Martel when it comes to putting batteries in people's backs. And these bitches so fucking dumb that they willing to get on TV and embarrass the fuck out of themselves for money that they can't do shit with, but buy some flaming hot Cheetos with. And that's probably all they ratchet asses eat is flaming hot Cheetos. And Stormy, you big glasses wearing ass bitch. It ain't going to be no space of YouTube untouched because your ass going to get dragged all across YouTube. And then we're going to transfer that shit over to TikTok and then over to Instagram. When we get done with your ass, you crybaby ass bitch, the world is going to know who Stormy, Big Glasses, Tater Head, Baba is, okay? Since you want attention so bad, we're going to give you that shit. Bitch, you are a non-motherfucking factor. No matter how you act out because you mad you ain't male. You will never be male. You will never have a fan base. Will never succeed and never shine in the way that male has. Because you are a jealous ass, envious ass, evil, hating ass bitch. Just like your Professor Clump looking ass mama. Okay? And Destiny, you so fucking dumb and eager to link up with somebody who can loan you a few dollars and give you a free product that you not even realizing how stupid your ass look linking up with a bitch who told you to go pay your fucking bills when they knew your ass was struggling okay that clip from kimmy's galentine event last season popped up in my feed or was it the season before either way it popped up in my feed and i watched the shit just for shits and giggles because their bitch go, as in Stormy, talking about, pay your motherfucking bills, bitch. And now she's the one being told to pay her fucking bills. She was on there talking big shit, talking about something. You ain't got enough. You see how I live? 
I knew that bitch wasn't shit from the jump, even when Mel was cool with her, and I expressed that. But Stormy want to make it seem like folks don't like her because she's an op of Mel's. No, bitch, we don't like you because you a big-headed, snake-ass, fake-ass, wannabe male-ass clown. Bitch, that's why we don't like you. And because you the kind of hold that get a few dollars and feel like you've made it to where you can look your big ass nose down on other people. Okay. But was on stage at some kind of event telling people not to judge entrepreneurs when they going through their growing pains. Big face, we going to very much so judge you because you a trash ass business person. Okay. So those that were telling you that you are why they don't support black businesses, they meant that shit because you make it bad for all of us, okay? You make people not want to support black businesses because of the dirty business that you do. All the fuck your thirsty come from nothing ass think about is sales. Oh, I made this amount in sales. I'm the highest selling this. When you make as much money as I do, holler at me. That's what you said. And it's like, girl, let's look beyond the sales and get into how you made those sales, which is by lying and scamming, in my opinion, which is why I hope all of those folks who never got their shit put a class action lawsuit on your trifling ass and shut you the fuck down for good. Okay? Including that alleged white label ass body glaze. Bitch, you out here trying to be male, but you can never be. You could never be. Mel would never operate in the fashion that your trifling ass do. Bitch, look beyond the sales and look at how you've made the money. Look at all the companies and customers you fucked over. Look at your Better Business Bureau rating, which you tried to blame on the millimeters, but too bad your terrible ass ratings started to come in before the millimeters were even a thing, dumbass. And your terrible ratings came in before that Black Friday sale that your ass trying to blame that shit on too. Look at all the dumb motherfuckers you got working for you. The ones that look like you just pulled them off the street corner so you wouldn't have to pay experienced workers who actually know what the fuck they doing so they can get the people they shit. From what I hear, you either sending your customers the wrong orders or don't send them they shit at all. And ain't no alleged bitch. Okay? This is what some of your customers are saying because the complaints and videos are online. Don't nobody got to lie on your ugly ass and you so fucking ugly because your soul is ugly. Okay. That shit, it, it seeps on to the, the outside. You are evil ass, snake ass, ignorant ass bitch. And you do not belong on anybody's public platform. You are an embarrassment. You fucking 35 years old and over the moon about selling some random ass shit on TikTok, making money that you got to pay all the motherfuckers who saw you because you do bad business. But you think you a bad bitch loading? You and Destiny bad bitches loading? No, you a trifling ass bitch that done loaded. Okay? You a stuffed ass, loaded ass, overbaked ass potato. And Destiny ain't no better. Another bitch who don't know shit about business, therefore unable to be successful in it, which is why she want to ride everybody else's coattail. Yeah, bitch, you want to thrive, but do you want to put in the work? You and your homeboy Martel and the others want to thrive off of other people's hard work, which is why y'all so mad at Mel because y'all can't fucking use her no more. Okay. Your surrounding area done grew down because she ain't standing around y'all asses no more. She took her light and got the fuck on and y'all mad. That's why Destiny don't mind linking up with an ain't shit ass bitch like Stormy because she a ain't shit ass bitch, okay? Two birds of a feather flock together. Two ghetto ass birds with attitudes stinking up the South, okay? Destiny done started like 18 businesses and quit them all within the first fucking week. That damn Madani beauty store, last thing we heard, she was talking about getting Marceau's non finishing a job ass to build her some sweets, knowing damn well that her ass wasn't even paying the rent on that fucking building, but she on TV trying to act like a boss. All they ass is some fakes, okay? Next, we saw her trying to sell them Alibaba ass candles, 
just like Stormy Baba over there on TikTok trying to sell their Alibaba ass body glaze, can barely speak English, at least the kind normal folks speak, but trying to scam somebody with that shit in the jaw. And you see that bitch, nor her trench coat on a college campus vibe giving ass sidekick Kyle, has posted any legal paperwork proving that she is the original creator of that body glaze, okay? They posting everything else, Stormy posting dresses, she posting stupid shit, but she won't post what she needs to post. And that's because she's a lying ass bitch. Neither one of those clowns have a creative bone in their body. That's why they always trying to copy off other folks, especially male. And when it comes to Stormy, Stormy was biting off the other Canvas Beauty. Y'all go to canvasbeauty.com. That's a site that was in business before Stormy, I believe. Pay attention to how theirs and Stormy's writing script look exact same. The writing of Canvas Beauty. Stormy added, you know brand behind her shit okay theirs is just called canvas beauty hers is called canvas beauty brand but you can tell she was biting and i think i saw a woman with flowers on her head it just gives the other sites vibes you know what i'm saying like she looked at they shit and tried to do the same shit she must have knew that people was gonna catch on and she started to switch to you know switch shit up a little bit Okay, it's giving I copy from those people. The cast of Love and Marriage Huntsville are dumb, so they ain't out here creating no original nothing. Mail is the blueprint, and they know it. They'll never say it though, but then again, they don't have to because the proof is in how they attempt to copy everything that she do. Whether it's the selling of the T-shirts, throwing events, packing orders, fashion, them bitches be even trying to talk like her. They all hate her because they ain't her, including the men. And I use that term loosely. Even the men want to be Melody, Cherie, especially Martel. He over there looking for another Melody right now. And probably feel like he's gotten close with the new bitch he allegedly with. While Ariane probably over there running into walls on purpose. Like the mental, metal mouth, angry bird that she is. And Ariane, I know you're listening. Bitch, you are so fucking tragic. <sighs> Then sat your stupid ass around for 10 years relying on a bum to take care of you. And now he ain't did shit but left you with a baby that you know he didn't want in the first fucking place. Okay? The one that you had thinking that it was going to get your ass on TV and it didn't work out for you. You have no job, no skills, no money, no house, no car. Okay? That you own. No common sense. No nothing. You are half nothing ass bitch that was dumb enough to think that you was about to blow up off the back of the woman whose marriage you decided to help destroy. If I were you, I would go in hiding too. Okay? Because it looks like what you doing right about now. Hiding in your motherfucking sorrow, bitch. Okay, that's what you get for enjoying the pain of another woman, especially the pain that you help cause, you bird ass, nothing ass bitch. Okay, then help that clown commit crimes and everything. And he'll be willing, you know, to chop off his fucking arm and leg before ever claiming your goofy ass. Sad chick of the year award. That shit go to you. Yeah. <laughs> you damn right. She made a whole song about your ass and got paid off of it. Okay? And got paid off of it just like you was getting paid off of fucking with her husband. Because he was taking some of her money and giving it to your bum ass. Okay? That's why your ass over there waiting for $5 cash apps from Martell. So you can go get you and Knox some potatoes and green beans. Since that seems to be all that he can afford and all that your slow ass know how to cook. I ain't never seen a bitch who ate potatoes and green beans every night of the fucking week and Skittles for dessert. Ain't never seen that shit. That must be the new age struggle meal. Everything about you struggling, that bun, them braces, them Alibaba ass outfits, Miles Morales struggling to identify who the fuck he is, your whole life 
the struggle, bitch. And that's what you get for thriving off the pain of another bitch. Just to think, this whole thought that she was about to get on Mel's show and shake something up. Everybody think they're a bad bitch. Bitches, bye. Okay? Now back to Stormy, old chicken, little leg ass. This bitch can have the most expensive house in the country and yet be the poorest bitch ever because she just don't get it. For her, everything revolves around money. She loves to flash money, take pictures with it, brag about the money, show off materialistic shit. But on the inside, she poor as shit. If you ask me, she poor on the outside too because the money she getting from them dummies off that alleged white label ass body glaze, okay? That belonged to all them motherfuckers who done sued her ass. Who done sued her trifling ass. That's who that money belonged to. And she trying to prove to us that she got money by buying some damn boat. But they'll fuck around and come and repo that shit just like they did that fucking car. This is also the bitch that made fun of Destiny not having, you know, any action in her store back when Madani was up. But Destiny's so mad at Mel. Because Mel don't fuck with her no more that she don't give a fuck about linking up with a bitch like that. I don't give a fuck who I'm mad at. I'm not about to slap hands or do nothing else with a bitch who has done or said the things that Stormy has. Okay? Betty Jr. is pure trash, but got the nerve to look her gigantic ass nose down on somebody else like she's big shit. No, the big shit is the bitch you out here trying to compete with, ho. Okay? No matter what. Stormy gonna be stupid. But as soon as her ass is held accountable for her stupidity, she posts a long ass post that don't nobody give a fuck about crying, playing victim, and saying folks bullying her disgusting ass. Hey Destiny, where that real estate office we saw law helping you build? All your licenses in every state that you had them in expired? Oh, okay. But you a bad bitch loading, huh? The only thing this bitch and the other ones it's consistent with is hating on Mel. So Carlos then brought this broad back on the show to link up with Stormy. And together, they will spend the season coming for Mel, in my opinion. And we coming for their asses. Because I'm tired of all of them. Okay? It's shit that I didn't see at first. But when you pay attention to everything. Okay? You're going to see everything you need to see. That's how we figuring Carlos' ass out. At least I am because some already knew. But moving on. Next, you have Carlos allowing Martel to get on the show and push this fake-ass narrative of him being a good guy that Mel is just out here fucking over. Martel is currently fighting two cases, to my knowledge, the revenge pee and the child abuse allegations. As far as I'm concerned, he's guilty. Carlos hasn't spoken publicly of any of that shit about any of that shit that Martel has been out here doing. He remained quiet so that Martel could use that shit for a storyline and push a narrative that he know ain't true. We know ain't true. They all going to take turns coming for Mel, in my opinion. And then when a reunion rolled around, they going to gang up on her ass just like they did winter at that Love and Marriage DC reunion. This is what I believe Carlos' plan is. And like I said, he ain't shit. What Mel need to do is leave the show like I feel she is about to do and focus on producing shows for her network, both scripted and unscripted, because you better believe they all talking shit about her network as well. I know Wanda was, but behind closed doors, they all probably behind, you know, behind there running their mouth with a jealous ass. Okay. I know Mark was as well, but they so fucking irrelevant. It's comical. Just like my soul over there pretending to be working on Rock City, a.k.a. Tisha's dream house. I heard some chatter about that. In my opinion, he ain't doing shit but looking to add some bullshit to his storyline. Because neither one of them motherfuckers got shit going on that's going to hold a, you know, a motherfucker attention. So they got to make shit up. Marso is the king of unfinished ass jobs. So it's like, do they honestly think we believe? That he about to build Tish or something? Okay. I'm not going to stay on these clowns too long, but I just wanted to share my thoughts with y'all as far as what I feel Carlos has planned for Mel. I truly feel like this is one dirty ass motherfucker, okay? And I believe wholeheartedly that he want to see Mel fail just as much as Martel does because Carlos can see that Mel can fuck around and outdo his ass, okay? 
without even trying. She needs to leave all the asses over there with them Burger King ass wages and low vibrational ass shenanigans and do her thing on Nubian. Okay? And that's all I got to say about these clowns for now. Y'all, season one of Sharnita has come to an end, so I will now be working on my reviews of the show. Okay? So y'all can look out for that. Okay? Y'all take care, and I will chat with y'all in the next one.